the importance of the point that is zero. Today, the father, the bestower of fortune, has come to meet all his fortunate children. The father, the bestower of fortune, is showing all of you souls the extremely easy way to make your fortune. Simply know the account of zero. Simply know the account of the point. The calculation of zero is the easiest of all. Yeah? Know the importance of the point and become great. Do I then know the importance of me, the point? What is the importance of me, the point? All of you know very well the account of the easiest and the most significant point, zero. Do you not? To speak of zero and to be a zero. Be a zero and remember the father, the point. You were a point and now remain stable in the stage of a point and celebrate meeting the father, the point. This age of celebrating a meeting is said to be the age of the flying stage. I'll share a simple example of how what Baba is meaning by to be a point, yeah? Very simple example, but it will make many things very clear. Mm -hmm. We'll see it. So this age of celebrating Brahmin life is for meeting and celebrating. Through this method, whilst performing actions, you always experience the karmatid stage of being free from any bondage of action. Hmm? So Baba is saying, whilst performing actions, you always experience the karmatit stage of being. So Baba is talking about experiencing karmatit stage now. Yeah, not later. <laughs> but now. Hmm? That will answer Anita's question in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Baba is saying that uh, karmatit stage of being free from any bondage of action. You don't enter any bondage of karma, but always remain within all relationships with the father. Karavanhar father makes you an instrument and makes you do everything. Therefore, you yourself become detached observer and this is how the awareness of this relationship makes you free from bondage. Hmm? i read this line again. Very important. The method Baba is giving. 
Therefore, you yourselves become detached observers and this is how the awareness of this relationship with Baba makes you free from bondage. When everything you do in a relationship, there is no bondage. When you think, I, quote unquote, did this, you have forgotten the relationship and created a bondage. Hmm? The confluence age is the age of experience. So it's not at the end of confluence age. It is now in the confluence age is the age of experiencing the stage of freedom from bondage. Having all relationships with the father and of being liberated in life. Therefore, child, check whether you maintain all relationships or whether you enter into bondage. In a relationship, because of love, there is attainment. And attainment means freedom from the bondage. Whereas in the bondage, there is a tug of war. And because of that tension, there is the upheaval of sorrow and peacelessness. Therefore, since the Father has taught you the easy account of the point, then any bondage of the body-mind has also ended. The body and the mind slash one is saying is not yours. You have given it to the father and it is therefore his. Now your original bondage of my body and also mind one would say because Baba will say that later has also ended. Would you say my body? Do you have that right now? How can you have a right over something you have given away? You have given it or have you still kept it as yours? It isn't that you say it is yours and yet you still believe it belongs to you, is it? So we will see what it means to be a point, yeah? So let's say that you're just sitting in front of a blank wall, right? which has nothing on it. True? And I remember what inspired this is the soul's part playing the role of a daughter wanted to share something. So she said, but I, before I share anything with you, I want you to be just a wall. <laughs> yeah? Just be a wall for me. I don't want your advice. I don't need your judgment. <laughs> and I don't want you to tell me anything. Yeah, I just want you to be a wall. Yeah, and I thought that was very beautiful. Yeah, why? Because that soul is just asking me to be zero. Nothing more than just a zero. 
Yeah. And uh, so that is where we can say the understanding is, let's say you're just sitting in front of a blank wall, which has nothing on it. Yeah. So is it easy to observe? There's nothing that you're seeing as an image that your mind can define or your mind can not see any particular, um, it is just empty wall in front of you. True? Just an empty wall? Hmm? Is wall going to add anything or take anything away from your life? No. Okay, very clear? Okay. Now, is there anything interesting on the wall? No. Okay. Anything stimulating? Anything colorful? Nothing. So there's really not much to kind of, through at least your senses, when body is not yours. So then the senses, the physical senses don't belong to you. Yeah? So... Like this. So next time, experiment with this. This is a very beautiful experiment. And this one has done this and does it quite a bit. It is like whenever talking to somebody, it's like a blank wall. Yeah? There is no story that is coloring that image of the body. Hmm? <laughs> There's no story. Whatever story my mind is saying, it's all just based on the based on the past in my memory of my mind. Yeah? So literally like a wall. So when she sat down and she started speaking her story, I could see the colorful thoughts coming in my mind. Yeah? Very colorful. <laughs> they were... <laughs> Hmm? But I'm I've been asked to be a wall. Hmm? Wall means I have to be zero. So either being with Baba. So I literally call Baba because Baba is the best zero. Yeah. So Baba and I together zero. And whatever colors are appearing on the blank wall that I am, they are going directly to Baba. All the colorful thoughts and emotions and feelings that are beautifully coming, listening to that story. <laughs> so they're just going to Baba. Being absorbed and just white wall. There's nothing. It's very powerful. When I go to the park now for a walk, there may be many scenes that are happening. Somebody is playing a guitar, somebody's having a picnic, Somebody is meeting with their friends, having a drink, or somebody having a barbecue, or somebody boating in the lake. It's just literally down the line, two minutes walk from here, one minute walk, literally. So I can see that all of this is happening with my eyes, but my mind doesn't have to describe it. My mind doesn't have to define it. Does that make sense? What would be the description of it? There are lots of things. There are lots of trees. So start with the neutral situations. Yeah. Where it's just people playing in the park or somebody playing football or somebody doing this or somebody doing that. Be a silent whiteboard witness. And see, is your mind describing what it is seeing? Check. Your interest is not in what they are doing. You, the being with Baba, is just checking. Is your mind describing what is what it's seeing? Or and you are silently watching with Baba, not interested in what's happening outside, but what descriptions and labels mind is offering. And you will find it's like a blank wall. You literally see a blank wall in front of you. A blank wall. All those scenes are playing, but you as though are taking that observation of the blank wall to the scenes with lots of variety. 
with lots of variety. And as though you can see, but not see. It's like you're seeing it from the state of zero. You have nothing to think about when you're seeing everything outside with your mind. Just a simple practice. Yeah? Can you do that? Hmm? Scenery is there, but you're not interested in it. You're the being is zero. You're not interested in the scenery outside, but you're more interested with Baba, how Baba is seeing your mind, if it's defining and describing anything that it's seeing. It's a game. It's a fun thing. The absolute being with Baba. I can only see the living beings. I cannot, I mean, the mind doesn't have the power to define anything because you're not interested in what it's saying. So it just keeps quiet. With that alone, you will see how much your mind is into the habit of defining everything it sees. It just wants to talk about everything it sees. You will get an idea with that. Hmm? You will watch. Your mind is going everywhere and it's so interested in everything. Just getting a better understanding of who you are and how you can see but not see. Yeah? As once one had shared that there was an accident and uh, there was a police uh, that was um, handcuffing someone and I was just driving past. And because this one was just doing this practice and I with Baba combined, I'm just literally going through every scene, every moment with him. And I'm seeing moment by moment. And I see my mind wanted to go back to that past accident. Just two seconds ago, it saw, and it wants to create a story, what we would have done to be able to be, to be needing to be handcuffed. <laughs> you know, it wants to create a story and think about it. And I, the being, aware of it, silently I saw that habit and I could see that after that, because I could witness it separate from me, it stopped having any power over me. Just being that blank wall. Nothing that is there can touch me, the soul. Because nothing is interesting to me. Except what Baba is seeing. And you've been talking to your daughter, so, and mm -hmm. she's telling you about her stories. So, then the, um, that did you see those attachments of a mother coming up in the mind, or some stories, or some judgments coming in the mind? How did you let that not color the wall of your mind? Mm hmm. So basically the being was completely more interested in being a wall than being interested in their story. And the story really, uh, it just felt like just some empty words. Wow. Yeah. So the, all the tension was I on, the, on the mind. Wow. On the because self. As, yeah. yeah. Because here then, you know, usually with the stories of the children of things happening, um, here the part gets sucked more into their stories. Yeah. yeah. But here it was more like, because I was asked to be a wall, only on that condition, <laughs> <the> baby share. <laughs> <laughs> and so I thought that was so beautiful because that is exactly how Baba wants me to be with my mind also. So basically she told you to set your stage like that. Yeah. Hold on to your stage. Without knowing. 
without knowing <laughs> that soul the was right word. Yeah, without knowing this Baba's words. Yeah. But actually telling you that. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So Baba is saying, can you be that wall with your mind also? So mind is telling you many stories. Can you be that blank? Can you be that being that is just observing without interest? That's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See how everyday experiences can be so useful for us. Yeah. And 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 that is exactly it's it's you can be everywhere and you can be that blank. You can be that uh, wall that she, that soul asked me to be. And I can be the same with my mind. My mind doesn't want to be judged. It doesn't want me to be uh, giving it any advice. <laughs> it doesn't want me to uh, tell it what to do. It just wants me to be quiet. <laughs> That is actually a true listening. That is true mm -hmm. listening. Very good. Very good. Doesn't want me to judge. Doesn't want me to offer any um, wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, sister, suppose she asks you later on after her conversation gets over, uh -huh. tell me now, then? Then you're coming from a very pure place because you were so attentive to your own truth that you did not have time to judge. So now Baba can use you. <clears throat> you're not giving advice from the colored filter you were wearing of your thoughts of your mind. Yeah. You're coming from a very clean space. But very true. Mm, yeah. Because you're not tainted by those words. They didn't even touch you. Yeah. So that is how. So I thought, oh, wow, this is so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> you, you taught me something today. <laughs> you know? That it's so easy and it's possible. In this case, emotions could have ridden high. In a neutral scene, there's not so, so much more easier then. So you can do this all the time. If you can just do that wall can for Please them. explain again because I couldn't understand. Like uh, uh, what you told that be a wall mm -hmm. and then what whatever mind mind is speaking, keep observing it, mm -hmm. and then uh, what I understood, be an observer, just be still and silent, mm -hmm. and whatever the mind is saying, just observe, keep observing, and be still, and don't get entangled with those. Whatever the mind is speaking, is it correct? Yeah, I I now feel like it is as though that soul that was playing the role of a daughter asked me to be a wall and how that experience was just simply attentive to my being a witness with Baba and nothing else in between. And something very similar, my mind is also asking me to do the same. Yeah. So mind is telling me, please don't judge me when I'm offering my commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, this is an example, sister. It's really very meaningful. And please don't uh, describe or offer me your wisdom. I don't need your wisdom. I just want to be heard without judgment. Amazing. Yeah. So it is like sister, this happens here also. But then at the end, then daughter soul asks, now tell me, what should I do? <laughs> Initially, she would say, don't tell me anything in between. Just listen. Nothing else. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, so I, I feel that she'll be asking me. 
so i start listening to the what she saying but then your example is helping me a lot yeah <laughs> yeah better beautiful example yeah so it is just be that blank wall you're nothing more you don't know how to see you don't know how to define you don't know how to describe you don't know how to have wis give wisdom to anyone or anything just be the silent witness this is the best example you have given today mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah this and after that suppose if the daughter soul asks you now tell me what you feel about it mm -hmm. so then yeah, that, that you have not heard anything yeah but because the thing is you're so coming from that clean space of soul to soul anything you speak will be right <laughs> anything <laughs> and that is what happens okay. they are already getting what i have found is they don't even ask because they've already got the power from baba okay got because that. you were that clean okay. channel they already received what they needed to receive and if they do ask the right words will come that baba wanted to give them rather than rini as a mother needing to give them something yeah perfect yeah. so just be a point that's the, that's in your best interest <laughs> yeah the so sister outcome outcome is uh... being a wall means uh, i become a uh, very still witness to my mind also yeah. this is outcome you are trying baba is trying here yeah. giving that example means if i am the uh, blank wall and start observing all my mind's chattering being a not getting affected not not uh, getting it its disturbed. impact on me yeah disturbed <laughs> or happy yeah yeah no judging so it will get gradually it, it's kind of quite in my mind also it's maybe not. no influence no it's impact not. okay okay this is the this is the outcome yeah okay thank you this is the understanding yeah. that you are not offering it any wisdom because the immediate instinct of the ego mind is to offer wisdom to its own kith and kin in the mind so no interest in that yeah. it's showing that no yeah. interest no interest in giving any advice to the mind giving any uh, offering any judgment or offering any wisdom or telling it what to do and what not to do because this is all thought talking to a thought nothing else and thought really loves to you know give so many adv advice yeah. so we are helping other souls to express that's what say they say na be a true listener that helps other soul to channel out all whatever they are having within so when i become a empty wall so they are kind of expressing and giving everything whatever they are holding mm -hmm. and taking it out from them same kind my mind also i'm mm -hmm. making it tuned to 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 express on its own keep expressing but i'm becoming a silent wall not interested not, not interested not interested very deep, very deep message very very deep message thank you baba and in that you will find the true allowance the true acceptance of who you are truly you are living in that moment you are the true listener of your mind also because you're so uninterested in what it has to say so i become the real friend of my mind the yes. real friend ultimate friend Exactly. not judging just accepting embracing my mind the real friend exactly just the way it is just the way it is so that is why baba is saying be that zero be that point yeah so the first form of relationship is that easy aspect sorry i forgot a few lines when you say yours then the bondage of any consciousness of mine ends and that is why baba says no offer and sacrifice your mind to me so your mind whatever it says whatever it does whatever condition it is in it's not yours anymore so that is why one who's getting bothered by the mind is the mind only not the soul 
soul is observer of even that particular mind that is being bothered by the rest of the mind. You are observer. Blank wall. You have nothing to say. Completely non-judgment. So the limited mind is a thread of attachment. Whether you call it a thread, a chain, or a string, it ties you in a bondage. When you say everything is yours, you forge a relationship. The bondage breaks and becomes a relationship. Any type of bondage, whether it is of the body, nature, sanskars, or subservience of the mind proves that something is lacking in having all relationships with the father at all times. How beautiful is that? Baba is saying that you call it, whether you call it a thread or a chain or a string, it ties you in the bondage. What ties you in the bondage? I and mine. Remember that day Baba said, every thought, you see it as I. It's subservience to the mind. So any thought that is coming and it's feeling like I am this and you have given that I, your identity to that thought. Then what is happening? Thinking will encourage another thought, then another thought, then another thought. And there's a string of I that goes through it and creates a, a garland, which garland, which we call Oh, this is all me, Rini. Hmm? And then we wear that garland as me and I. Instead, Mr. Please explain it with some example of yours, if you could. It's yeah. point, quite intriguing, this point. Yeah, thank yeah. you. So, for example... Let's say, um, I'm, let's say, interacting with the, somebody, yeah? And a thought comes. They say something. They're telling me something about their story. We'll take the same example, let's say. They're telling me something about their story. And a thought comes. Oh, you know what, you should not have said this. And I personalize that thought. Okay, that thought has become me and that's the lens through which I will listen to their next part of their story. So then they tell me another thing and then my mind says, maybe she should have done this. So this thought gets combined with that thought. Yeah? Now, more offering comes. Now, there are two thoughts as filters through which I'm listening to the story. Not one, but two thoughts through which I'm listening to their story. They tell me something else. And my mind says, you were wrong in doing this. And the third thought gets combined with it. Yeah? And it goes on and on by the end of the conversation. It's just one aspect of the scene in the 5,000 year old cycle we are taking. The whole garland is created in that conversation. Now I'm really not at all listening. I'm literally seeing everything through the filter of those many, many thoughts combined together that created this identity called I am the mother, I know better what is right for you. And then, now when she asks, although it pretended and looked like I'm listening as a soul, I am I mean, I'm pretending in a way the person identity is there and it's, oh, I was listening, I was quiet. See, I didn't speak anything. Now when they ask for advice, 
The advice is coming through that entire garland of I'm a mother, I know better, I heard you, whatever you did was not right, it was all wrong, you should not have done this, you should have done that. Or maybe I'll come from a place of very deceptive, pretentious mother being trying to be understanding. See, if you could have done this, I'm not judging you. I'll speak these words. I'm not judging you, but this, this, and this. There's a sense of expectation mixed in it. So I'm literally speaking through that garland of that identity made out of thoughts. I, me, mine, every thought was personalized and now it has become me, that entire chain. And that entire chain is now feeling like me. I, the soul, wear that chain. And now I come into action with it. It's now just not one chain. I'm wearing 5,000 year long chains. It's not one completely buried under chains like that. Total um, I mean it's like literally the soul is totally dormant. It's all just conditioning, speaking, conditioning, coming into action, conditioning, feeling, conditioning, doing everything now. So total mixturity, sister. Yeah, yeah. Total mixturity. So we are doing all this all the time we had been doing till now. Now yeah. we are separating ourselves. This is that now this, you know, ultimate. Otherwise, uh, very much it's a vibration of so many things all together jumbled up. And that's a we are thinking we are a lot of mother. Yeah. And we are so beautiful. Yeah. Deceptive, so deceptive. And we don't know ourselves. We are feeling we are doing such a great job. I'm that real, you know, loyal, loyal mom. I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm making feel them so good. Yeah. Maybe taking, telling them all the uh, sweet, sweet things, not yeah. daring to tell them the truth, yeah. not hearing. So it's very different. It's all cluttered, actually. So now this is a time we are separating ourselves, not from any kind of listening or maybe my captured and tangled vibrations. I keep myself separate from that also. Uh, total focus then only i you know it's very very actually sister deep uh, deep checking all the time it's very deep work yeah but actually very subtle checking. yeah very deep mm -hmm. but very easy all i have to be is being aware of who i am with baba and being aware of making sure that the thoughts that are coming up i'm not identifying with them simply that all right yes yes really very nice awesome. But to understand the mechanisms of ego, it frees us from ego. That yeah. is why it's important to understand the mechanisms. That's why Baba goes into so much depth every time in the Murli's. It's a thread, it's a chain. You have tied yourself in this bondage because of this mind that is creating that chain. This has to turn into yours. Means every thought now belongs to Baba. It doesn't belong to me. It is just a matter because we are personalizing our mind so much today that we believe what it's saying is who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what Baba is okay. telling us, no, what your mind is saying is not what you are. You are the silence before the mind. You don't have any identity based on thinking mind. Your mind cannot tell you who you are. I will tell you who you are. Yeah? No. Yeah. So just to understand how much it is buried, our pure vibrations are buried under the fictional identity and the fictional mind. But getting understanding, now release. The easy thing is just be that blank wall to your mind. That's e really that easy. Maybe, sister, your stage was so, so your daughter could, you know, use those lovely words, be a wall. Because, you know, children uh, will never say like that, be a wall. And they don't want any judgment from us. They are always scared. She was very bold to tell you. 
you be kind of shut up and don't do anything just be there so it's very you know your stage could inspire her to say so it's very very intriguing very mysterious you know it's a deep work to do it's a very lot of spade work actually because what i understood today chain baba says that was very stool ways we could understand maybe little more but not this ki every thought we are holding it has so much of vibrations we are working on that only yeah. and feeling that it's me it's not that it's all mixed up actually yeah. i need to separate myself totally and feel that i'm that empty wall yeah. I Put think when we practice. sit, when we sit with others, we usually don't sit in the consciousness of me, the soul. We sit as the role, you know, role of a mother, role of a wife, a role of a colleague, or whatever role you're sitting with that hat of a role. If you're wearing, then we're totally in the wrong consciousness we are in. And then, of course, all the thoughts coming in the mind will be saying, would be pertaining to from that role seed it will be springing up and then it's all mixed up and as you said you know as sister and she also said very correctly that it's all mixed up mm. there is no purity in our vibrations to begin with because we totally are off our seat at that time yeah and yeah. so the easy way out of it is just seeing everything seeing self as a soul and remembering that what is the purpose of entering the scene exactly. that that's it everything has to be with baba how baba would see how baba would speak how baba would think yeah. and not identifying with any of the this, having the thoughts as a wall mind as a wall now. <laughs> nothing <laughs> is exciting that's coming up nothing is intriguing exactly. nothing is fascinating exactly yeah whatever it says i have no interest in it and it doesn't want me to be interested actually even mind doesn't want me to be interested in it how how tell because that wall i saw na i just made it very very zoom i was finding it so boring and message was just you know observe it i said what to observe maybe i started sitting with seeing my wall i mm -hmm. could see paint is not good good so what to observe it was kind of very boring now clear it out <laughs> I, I very boring very, i found it i think it's a very good way to reverse it where the wall is telling us that don't find anything intriguing or judging or get misled or attracted to anything mm -hmm. i'm just plain blank yeah. rather than us yes. trying to gain shut it yeah. you know which is again a force Mm -hmm. here we have to see the mind is saying just consider me as a wall where nothing pulls you it's blank and you're being neutral to whatever you see yeah there's nothing exciting nothing fascinating there's nothing intriguing there's nothing motivating there's nothing to judge there's nothing yeah so whatever i'm offering it has no meaning so please like for me i'm seeing the daughter part as the mind and i the soul and that blank wall i have nothing to say like the blank wall has nothing to say right don't see yourself as this person see yourself as this blank wall which has nothing to say right? since so, so i'm just keeping my mind a blank wall i'm not becoming a blank <laughs> wall <laughs> it'll be too um, much fun. <laughs> no right now i think i'm like <laughs> that's it mind is a blank wall <laughs> How sister, there's a phrase also na, when we don't, uh, people used to say, are you blank wall? <laughs> <laughs> are you listening? They used to accuse us. So <laughs> it's just a different different dimension now. You know, it's a real meaningful uh, blank wall means. Sister Dini, you just said uh, three minutes back uh, that mind also loves it being a blank wall. Now mind come to that point. somebody not being interested in it because it itself wants to merge in the source it doesn't want to hang around with maya <laughs> yeah no not clear no no not clear not clear sister see mind has many thoughts a lot of script that is constantly playing and baba says it will play till the end done so, done yeah the only way the mind will really merge into you is when you are not interfering with it 
All right. But All entangling right. with it, you're not judging it, you're not resisting it, you're not clinging to it, you the being. Only then can it really have a chance to settle. Somebody keeps tampering with the water in the lake. Can it yeah. ever become still? No. The lake is saying, so, please leave it, leave me alone. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm just doing what I've been asked to do according to your drama. So please leave me alone. I don't want you to interfere with me. <laughs> hmm? mm. So mind yeah. in a way doesn't want to be. So if you hear Baba Brahma Baba's experience, Brahma Baba is so respectful that soul to his mind when he's talking even before Baba came into his body. Yes, yes. 32. He used yeah. to write like, you know, he respect. I was wondering. Much okay, respect. now I understand. Yes, yes. So yes. much respect for the mind. Even language was so regard respectful, so regardful. Regal, so regal. Okay, mind. If you're okay right now, maybe it's enough. Maybe you don't want more. It's okay. So much respect for the mind. Yeah. Not entangling, not tampering with it. Oh, why is why that? <laughs> and you are just part of the mind then. So Brahma Baba already had the separation from the mind even before even uh, before Shiv Baba. Before that, Baba, Shiv Baba, Baba used, used him, him as an instrument. Yes. Uh, yes. Was, yes. Yes. Yeah, he was prepared for Shiv Baba's com coming in his body. That's why he was the chosen yeah. one. Yeah. Krishna's. <laughs> so yeah, he was prepared. Wow. Yeah. Sister, he was prepared or he was preparing himself? He prepared himself. I would say maybe drama. drama. Both kind yeah, of. Yeah. Drama had it in him to be ready for God's uh, incarnation in him, in his body. And yeah. uh, also that. His deep interest also. He was kind of, you know, giving so much of interest. Yeah. Okay. That okay. soul had so a sister, lot of interest in introspection from beginning. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Thank you. So let's finish this uh, being a wall. So now I understood uh, mind will be not interested in tampering uh, anything, infringing. I, I the if... being, am not interested in tampering with the mind. Okay, I am not. Okay, okay. By the this being. is the way. Yeah. Okay. Let it, let it, and gradually it will quieten. It will come with so many different colors, so many different definitions, so many different ways of uh, doing this and doing that, doing how to be the, how to do the doing of being. It will even talk about that. <laughs> all the time, all soul. the time, all the time, all the time. Sister. How to be a soul, how to make next moment better than this moment. Yeah. It is yeah. constantly offering its advice. Just be understand that's a child that is sick, and you it it's just doesn't want you to tamper with it. Doesn't want you the soul to give it any advice. It doesn't want you the soul to say anything. It just wants you to be that blank wall. Mm -hmm. Can you the sister soul in uh, some cases um, the the daughter soul she will say the same thing. You don't have to judge anything. You will not speak till I end uh, finish. Uh, and at the same time, in between the conversation, she will ask, uh, don't be a blank wall. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Then, mm -hmm. checking I, in between, whether I'm listening is, or not. Is it your mind presuming she will mm -hmm. say? Yeah, I know it has happened to her two, three times. So I know that she will say. Okay, so she will say, don't be a blank wall. That's okay. You are actually totally combined with Baba and you are the observer of your own mind, even in that scene. You are not interested in what that story is being shared. If you're really observer with, with Baba and making sure that whatever colorful thoughts your mind may be creating in response to the scene outside, you are not entangling and mixing yourself, your truth with the feelings of the mind then you are truly being the blank wall. Otherwise, you are a fake blank wall. 
Does that make sense? So then your pure vibrations and Baba's pure vibrations will touch that. Is that making sense, Puna? Yeah, she will get up and she will start again right now. She's sleeping. I will check today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but more, in, more important is to really get the understanding that you are that blank wall for the mind. Which is, which has got the sickness of talking too much. You know, they say it's like uh, it talks a lot. Somebody has a bimari of talking a lot, right? <laughs> so that is the sickness my mind has of talking a lot. It loves talking. It's a chatterbox. And it wants to keep talking till the nth degree. Just make sure you are that blank wall. Means totally uh, with Baba combined and how Baba and you together. This one just puts Baba in front and then this one sometimes sits in the you know that uh, back right, the, the, what do you call, putting the child on the back. I'm putting Baba in the front and I'll sit behind Baba and let Baba face the mind. Sling, sister, sling? sling yeah, probably a sling. <laughs> and put Baba in the front. How's Baba seeing it? Yeah? It's really very simple and easy. It's just a matter of attention and interest. If an interest is not there, then introspection and introversion can be a very, very tedious way of living. But if interest is there, and interest will come from actually spending time and with yourself as a soul with Baba, in some silence throughout the day, at least finding some moments and this is the true sign of self-love. Those who truly love themselves will truly be introverted. And it's a very, very joyous process. Very joyous. Those who are finding introspection and attention very tedious, but they're doing it because somehow there's a desire to do, but they find it very hard. Understand that is also just the mind speaking. Be detached even from that tediousness of the mind. You can really observe everything. Just know that because you are totally unbiased observer. Is that clear? Hmm? Very heavy dose in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you are you will to sleep off nicely, clinging to your whatever bed sheets and what I'll do the whole day, checking so much of work Baba has given me. Work? But I, it's lovely, it's lovely things, you know, very, very beautiful things. Morning we are getting. Thank you, Baba. What not? Yeah. Lovely things. Yeah. It's actually beautiful life when you're living life of attention. Otherwise, you're constantly living life filled with accidents. We keep getting lazy, sister, in between, no. And whenever we have we are attentive, life becomes really nice. Yeah. Why not? We why keep cursing life and situations. Just yeah. be attentive. Be a little more attentive, actually. Little yeah. more. Yeah. That's it. And laziness comes, even observe the laziness separate from you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, leave the life uh, either of, of attention or of accident. Choice is ours, yes. right? Yes. yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't open the chat. Sorry, huh? I just saw. <laughs> One minute. Let me see. Is the wall soul or mind? Okay. The wall is the soul. The mind is just that colorful child with its stories. <laughs> yeah? 
that loves telling stories. Okay. And this is your ticket to liberation in life, in this moment. Hmm? Yeah, be the wall to your mind. Yeah. Very good. Okay. All right. So from... Anybody wants to say anything? So what you took and anybody wants to share any experience? It's good to hear how you are seeing the application of it in your day-to-day -day life. Uh, till, till now, sister, the application was different uh, with the, the daughter soul. And now application will be different with the perspective which you have explained today. Beautiful. Thank you. So just be that point, that zero, because that's who you are. There's no doing of acceptance. There's no effort in acceptance. You are that blank wall. Blank does not mean that There's no life in it. Actually, where there is blankness, true life is there. Otherwise, everything is a projected, interpreted, fictitious game of the mind. It's a world that the mind has created, which is completely fictional in it. It's own right. It's just living as its own world. with its own separate identity. So see that chatterbox mind just speaking without any rhyme or reason. It just loves to talk. It's not pertaining to anything of the, as a moment of truth. It just loves to keep thinking about stories and string the thoughts one after the other together to create a narrative. That's how a story is created, no? stringing one thought with the other, with the label I or mind to it. And then mind loves to delve in it, swim in it, immerse in it for now. But also it is fed up of it also. Mind itself is fed up of itself. So it wants to come out of it also. The only hope is you. You the being. That silent blank wall. Because that which is giving life to it is you. So its only hope is also you. For its healing, mind's healing, you need to be disinterested in what it is saying. Be interested in Baba and have this nishche that what is needed as a thought for you to come into action, it will be given to you. It will be given. Have that trust. This is trust in drama and Baba. Not just outside things and people, but even a thought that is needed will come to you. You just, can you see how to be in the moment with him? With Baba? And that is possible when there is unlimited disinterest in the chatting and the chattering that is happening in the mind. Mm. 
Don't offer it anything. It doesn't need anything from you. It just needs your non-interference from you. And it will settle. This is the biggest effortless effort to make no effort to fix it. Just be interested. I know silence is boring for the mind. <laughs> but understand that which is bored is not you. That which is finding silence to be very placid is not you. You are simply silence itself. And that is why relationships with Baba, how he's feeling, how he's thinking, how he's perceiving anything, talk to him about that. To make it very joyous process rather than a tedious, too much attention, too much work process. Yeah, it is a joyous process done by the silent witness. One who's tired is also observed by the tireless one. Keep coming back to who you are as zero. You, are, you can never be tiredness, laziness, carelessness, you're observer of all of those energies in the mind. Just silent observe. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Om Shanti, thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Om Shanti, Didi. Thank you, Baba. Thank you.